Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here with me today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Another earthquake by Smith Ferry, Idaho. EMSC said it was a magnitude 3.6. USGS said it was a 3.4. EMSC said it was about 9 miles in depth. USGS gave it about the same depth. 22 people said they did feel this earthquake. Felt report sent in to USGS said it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing automobiles would have been rocking slightly. Vibration like a passing truck. No felt reports sent in to EMSC. I wish people would do that. This earthquake occurred about 5.57 a.m. local time. And here we have some of the felt reports on USGS. Here we got Mountain Home. One response there. Um, Cascade. Uh, one response from there. Garden Valley. Two. They said it was intensity level three. Uh, one response from there. Cascade. Horseshoe Bend. Intensity level three. The farthest report is... McCall, one response, intensity level one. 155 earthquakes in the last month. You can see um, most of them. Yeah, this is along the area, which is down here, for the Snake River Plateau. And you can see how it's traveling towards Yellowstone. I'm going to zoom into this location where all the earthquakes have been happening. We got 55, it looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There's location of the latest earthquake. And then going to Google Earth, I do not have all the earthquakes mapped out, but I do have uh, the fault lines. Let's see, the largest looks like a 4.9. And that was on February uh, 26. Let me bring this out some more. In my last report about this area, I talked about these ancient fault lines that have been reactivated and you can see it goes up by this reservoir uh, cascade reservoir there was a 3.9 when was that let's see march 12th of last year uh, yeah a 3.9 and that was uh 14.8 kilometers in depth so that would be about nine miles about the same depth as all these earthquakes that have been occurring. This is what's called the Long Valley Fault. It runs north to south along the western shore of Lake Cascade. The Long Valley Fault is separate from the Salt Two Fault, which cuts uh, northwest from Kimaton Fault Zone, and that would be, um, let's see way off to the east here. This is the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. The 4.9 earthquake, um, 1,991 people said they did feel this earthquake. A shake alert was also sent out. And from what I remember, it was reportedly felt as far as uh, the Great Salt Lake, Salt Lake City area. USGS does not have a focal mechanism for this earthquake, but they did for the 4.9 right there. Um, what they have going on is the extension spreading. What they have here is a near vertical fault zone, um, a dropping of the Long Valley Fault, and an uplift of what is called the West uh, Mountains. So going back to Google Earth, here's what's called the West Mountains. And this is the Long Valley Fault. This area is dropping down. We got spreading. And the West Mountains is rising up. Initially, because they sent in or sent out a shake alert about this earthquake, it's because it could be a foreshock for something much larger. Earthquakes in this region could continue for months. And there could still be strong aftershocks. Uh, that would or could cause damage. Let's see if I can find the Bora Peak earthquake. 
That occurred in 1983. It was a magnitude 6.9 initially. I don't know if they changed the magnitude or what. Yeah, there's its location right there. Let me bring it back out to where we've been having these recent earthquakes over here. That earthquake was over uh, 22 miles long, the fracture, and it had a scarp of over 9 feet that it created. A scarp is one, one, one side lifts up and the other side either stays stationary or drops down. Yeah, a 9 foot scarp. Now from what I remember, this uh, 4.3, I believe it was, that earthquake uh, did create landslides in some locations. Oh, excuse me, 4.9. Okay. In Idaho, the Yellowstone hotspot has interacted with the basin and range to create a more complicated path pattern of earthquakes and mountain buildings. Let me bring this out and show you these recent earthquakes. This mountain building is called the Yellowstone Tectonic Parabola. The Yellowstone Tectonic Parabola is a region of earthquake activity, faulting, and topographic uplift surrounding the eastern Snake River Plain, which is down through here. This plain was formed as the North American Plate continent passed over a stationary plume, the hot spot, of hot rock rising up from the Earth's mantle. The pattern of earthquake activity in eastern and central Idaho seem to be related to the interaction between the hot spot and the basin and range extension. As a result, a major branch, branch of the intermountain seismic belt extends from the Yellowstone area westward towards central Idaho. This zone includes at least eight major active faults and has been a site of many earthquakes. I'll give you a link to this paper. It will be in the information um, in the box down below this video. But here's some of the uh, majority of the large earthquakes that they've had in the past. In 1935, there was a 6.2 um, Helena, Montana. Walla Walla, Washington, uh, a magnitude 6.4. That was in 1936. Let's see, a magnitude 5, um, Bonner. Central Idaho had a magnitude 6 in 1944. Also a magnitude 4. And a magnitude 6 in 1945, Boise, Idaho. Let's see, we got a 6.5, Southwest Montana, Central Idaho question mark. Um, they don't have a lot of monitors there in Idaho. So getting the exact location. Um, yeah, earthquake studies are relatively new. Let's see, Hedgen Lake. I've talked about that. That was in 1959, a 7.3. Um, Soda Springs, 1960, a magnitude 5. Um, Catch Valley. 1962, a 5.7, and it goes on, let's see, uh, Northwest Yellowstone, a 6.1 in 75, and then the Bora Peak one in 1983, a 6.9. We also got Flathead Lake, Montana, a 4, and you can see them lo um, listed there. So I hope everyone is prepared for larger earthquakes. You just don't know when they can happen. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, please be prepared. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.